Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. This is our season finale, our December season finale. That's it. We got no more videos coming until the new year. The first question comes to us from our good friend Joel Passante, who we went to high school with. Yeah. Known the guy forever. You can find him on Twitch, Rat's House of Retro, where he does retro gaming live streaming. Joel says there's tons of shitty remakes out there and yeah. shitty movies. So if you were to remake one movie or even maybe a remake, what would that be? Yeah. That's a tough that's yeah. very hard because there's there's so many movies out there that are garbage that deserve to be remade. If you look at it, there's certain you know, time frames when these movies were made, they wouldn't necessarily translate properly yeah. into modern times either, yeah. right? So they, a lot of movies need to stay where they're at. I would love to see the 2011 version of The Thing redone properly. Yeah. Redone a lot better than what it was. The original version where they had all the mm. practical effects that were all shot, yeah. And then they ditch them because, oh no, there needs to be CGI. So, like, what the fuck? I love to see, like, a version where it's more practical. But even that, like... And even... less crazy. Like, the end gets pretty ridiculous. It gets a little too silly at yeah. the end, you know? Like, I, I think, like, a different release of the DVD or the Blu-ray could maybe handle some of that stuff. But I yeah. think the movie as a whole just simply needs to be redone. And it needs to shadow... Carpenter's yeah. original, right? It needs to follow that, and it really doesn't. Yeah. This, you know, but it's a good idea. It's a good idea, yeah. Yeah. but it just wasn't executed properly. Yeah. For me, a movie I like to see remade, maybe. Um, I do like it a lot, but I think it suffered from, well, the fact that there was no sound shot on set. You know, it's pretty low budget. Is the dead next door the idea behind it is really good the fact that like there's zombies yeah and there's this cult that worship the zombies and and don't want humanity to win yeah they want the zombies yeah. to win that's a neat idea and the movie's pretty good but if it was remade i think it would take that idea and maybe kind of push it a bit further with better budget better effects and better acting of course grande's graveyard who has a youtube channel you can follow grande's graveyard we'll put a link in the comments or maybe up here somewhere he would like to know well what's our favorite soda <laughs> yeah <laughs> mine they discontinued this shit probably because all these kids went blind on it or something <laughs> or sick <laughs> tahiti treat I don't drink much pop. Yeah, no, neither do I. But when I do, I like a good ginger ale. Mm. Or if I want to spoil myself, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. He would also like to know what's our favorite review we did. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a tough one. Yeah, there's we've done a lot like over uh, the years. Venom came to mind for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I was on the consensus of that. It's probably one of the funnest reviews yeah. we've ever done, yeah. really. Mausoleum was fun too, just because we did the crazy fight scene yeah. before the review. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't include their like the review itself for Venom, I think, is probably one of the better ones as far as <laughs> just the review itself yeah the synergy between us yeah, two yeah and then the characters in that movie you can't help but have energy when you're talking yeah. about them too right yeah. it just comes out of you bunny man la would like to know what's the first horror movie we remember watching together mm -hmm. two of us you were the only person that owned a horror movie that i knew of and that was Halloween 5. Yeah, cause, and it had just come out. Yeah. 89, yeah. 90 or so. Yeah, so I'm thinking the first horror movie we ever watched together was probably Halloween 5. Mm -hmm. I just have to agree with you on that because I don't quite remember myself. But yeah. what I remember, and I know that this isn't the first, but uh, what I remember is Tourist Trap. Cheers to Fears, who also has a YouTube channel. We'll put the link here or there. Would like to know if we know of any movies filmed in their province... Of Saskatchewan, they're fellow Canadians. Yeah. And I can't, off the top of my head, I got uh -huh. no clue of any horror movies. No, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, we, I'm sure we've watched probably one or yeah. two at least, but no, I can't yeah. think of any. Uh, but they also like to know if there are any movies that were shot in our province. Yeah. And while well, there is a shitload, yeah. because two reasons it's cheap to film here. Mm hmm. And number two is our um, downtown area, the Exchange District, they call it. It hasn't changed since, like, the 50s. Yeah, yeah. And it's got kind of that Chicago sort of feel to it. Yeah. It's a Chicago sister city. 
So, yeah, it kind of has that American yeah. sense to it. If there's any period pieces need to be shot, they do it in our exchange district because it looks like it's in 1950-something. A couple movies that come to mind, uh, The Cult of Chucky, yeah, definitely should... filmed here. Yeah. At the time when I was watching it, and I, I had heard the rumors that it was filmed here, but I didn't quite know for sure, and I was like... That, those back roads, like, I swear we rode our bikes down some of those fucking roads <laughs> yeah. when we were kids. Yeah. Like, you know, and then sure enough, I did some research and, oh yeah, it was filmed in Winnipeg yeah. and the outskirts and that. So yeah, yeah. that makes fucking sense. Yeah. yeah. Another movie filmed here, a very indie movie that wasn't had a big release or anything, but we did see it in yeah. theaters here is The Editor, <laughs> yeah. which is kind of like a, a love letter to like Giallo movies. It's weird. It's a fucking weird movie. Udo Kier's in it, you know? It's, yeah. But it's like, oh, yeah, I've sat in that restaurant. A recent movie shot here uh, starring Bob Odenkirk mm. is Nobody. Yeah. And there's that scene on the bus, that fight scene on the bus. It's like, yeah, it's a fucking Winnipeg bus. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Mark Miller, a.k.a. Corruptor, mm -hmm. would like to know when we're going to release the Trash or Treasure music video. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of inside info on this. Um, if you listen closely enough to the Trash or Treasure song when it plays underneath the video, there's a guitar solo in there. And Mark was kind enough to do the guitar solo because he's a crazy guitar player. So he's actually heard the whole Trash or Treasure song front to back. And I kind of told him, yeah, I mean, I'll <laughs> maybe write some lyrics to this. It could be a full song. So maybe in the spring or something, we'll shoot like a Trash or Treasure music video. <laughs> But it might, it might happen. It's uh, one of those things like, this comes first, music video is on the back burner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll put a link in the description for Mark Miller's page, because he's got all sorts of music out there. Crazy guitar player. James Moss wrote to us, and he asked us, what is the best horror movie that you guys reviewed, and what is the worst horror movie that you guys reviewed? And your channel is bloody cool, he says. <laughs> best? Well... Off the top of my head, personally, I think the best movie, like a film, like a best, the best film is The Changeling. Mm -hmm. We did that early on. Year number one, we covered The Changeling. I think that's the best overall film, personally, that we covered. There's probably a couple, but I'm going to say that Don't Look Now is probably one of our best, the films. Yeah. Maybe not so much our personal review, because yeah. it was... Like, what, our third video or something? <laughs> something like that, yeah. So we're awfully green. Yeah. But the movie itself, I think, is probably yeah. quite amazing. And also Burnt Offerings, I think, is <laughs> yeah. like one of the better films we've reviewed. Like, it's a good fucking movie. Doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't matter if it's horror or what. It's just a good movie. Yeah. Another one, maybe, The Road. Yeah. Uh, fuck. I just yeah. watched The Road yesterday again. Oh, really? yeah. And it was like, I was, I was like, man... We almost have to do that again or something. I was thinking, I was like, this movie is so good, it deserves more attention than yeah. what it's ever got. That's a great... So there's four. There's four you <laughs> yeah. mentioned there. They're all great, really good fucking movies, you know. Forgive my mispronunciation, but Inga Toy Koryunga Studio. Good enough. <laughs> and they asked, what motivated you two to start the channel? Um, it's obvious that you love the films, have a great chemistry, leaning towards showmanship, etc. But it's a big step for watching silly movies, drinking beer and shooting slash editing damn YouTube clips every week. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking work. <laughs> that's a loaded question. We've talked about this before on, I think, more podcasts. Yeah, there's a couple of podcasts that we did. And I don't think we've ever talked about it on the channel. I don't know, I just think it was something that was bound to happen. I was in a band, and that was like my major like outlet, creative outlet. Band broke up. My girlfriend left me too. <laughs> yeah. So I was yeah, kind of double whammy. I was double whammy in the fucking dumps. Sitting here like lonely and sad. <laughs> You're and all dead. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I need to get like the creative juices flowing again and YouTube's such a big thing and watching other people's reviews on YouTube and it's like, well fuck, well, we can do that too, and I thought, well, call Justin, would you be into doing a YouTube channel about forgotten horror movies? Right. It yeah. wasn't, because everyone has reviewed all the movies that need to be reviewed. Yeah. Let's do the ones that people haven't heard about. 
And I was surprised when you said yes. I was honestly <laughs> surprised you said, yeah, let's do that. I'm pretty uh, guarded and stuff yeah. like that when it comes to shit like this. Like, even my Facebook thing, I don't really... You don't have a picture or anything? I don't even have a yet. picture. Yeah. I got nothing. I don't even... I'm not... E I don't even own a cell phone, for Christ's right. sake. I said yes right away. That sounds all right. Yes. And then Adam was like, okay, well, let's do it this time yeah. and such and such, and we can, you know, work out the, to hash out the details and everything. Then after, I was like, uh, then I started thinking, I was like, oh, maybe. Then I started thinking of all the fucking, all the shit that might, all the hate that might yeah. come our way. <laughs> yeah, because like that's all you ever. Whenever you see anybody on, yeah. on these things, you get a bunch of hate shit. Yeah. And I was like, ah, man, I don't know if I'm ready for all that kind yeah. of crap. But we're lucky; we haven't gotten much of that at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, well, it's, it's a pretty solid, a positive experience we've had here. Like it's been yeah. mostly positive. It's been pretty good, and I think it's mostly. What you put in is what you get back. Right. So yeah. we've been pretty positive, even when we tear things to pieces. Yeah! But we always try and keep things as positive as we can. We so. don't want things to be a downer, right? It's yeah. it's all about you know it's about entertainment too. Like you mentioned uh, the showmanship, well, because it's about not just reviewing a movie, but also being entertaining. It's more than just our opinion. It's got to be fun, and it's got to be constructive too. Yeah. And you can't just shit all over yeah. everything. And we always try to find the good in things. Then that's where things get yeah. kind of dicey, because <laughs> yeah. sometimes you honestly cannot find the good yeah. in certain movies. Yeah. And it's like, ah, oh, man. We're beyond the door. We really struggle. We struggle. <laughs> we have to find a treasure. We, <laughs> we have to dig for the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> and we found what we could. Yeah. And that was about as far as we could go. The next one is Rainbow Fright, and they have a YouTube channel. We'll put the link somewhere somewhere up above or yeah. below for them and they said congrats on another successful season fellas looking forward to lucky season number seven Let's hope. Yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite American film of 2022 so far and what 2022 movie from any country were you excited for the most but were let down by <laughs> Uh, my favorite 2022 movie is um, Pearl. Okay. Pearl was fucking killer. Sure. So good. Mine, I hate to let you down, but I really haven't <laughs> watched that many 2022 movies. I'm personally not a person who seeks out new movies. Not unless I'm specifically asked to yeah. for the channel, right? Unless somebody else sees it like adam if he says something about it or whatever maybe i'll put it on the list and maybe in a couple of years i'll go check it out but <laughs> it's not new anymore no and then it's not new yeah. but i am just not the person to watch new things i was born a decade or two later than what i should have been a decade i will say that a movie i was let down by because the reviews were so good and everyone praised it was barbarian i didn't like barbarian at all i thought it started off kind of strong but it got really shitty pretty quick and it just like it was built up like one of those things like it's so good it's so good it's so good even if it was okay the fact yeah. it was built up so much it's like nah fuck this movie i didn't like it i've been let down by so many new movies yeah. that i just stopped yeah i can't i really can't do it anymore the next one is by 80 slashers and they also have a youtube channel we're going to put the link above or below. If somehow you found yourself trapped inside a slasher flick and you had to fight off the villain in order to survive, which villain from any slasher flick you can think of would you like to fight and why? Well, for me, that's easy. Ghostface, <laughs> because it's a human and you know it can beat the shit out of them and probably live. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but the thing is, see... There's two of them. Yeah, that's right. So maybe yeah. you could kill one, and then yeah. the other guy will come up yeah. behind you or something, I, stab you. I'd rather face a human than someone that's, like, not human and more supernatural, <laughs> you know? Yeah, see, now, I'll tackle this from a different point of view. What would be the most fun to fight? <laughs> fun? <laughs> Freddy Krueger might be the most fun because you'd have to set up all these traps and everything to kind of... <laughs> you'd have to set up a whole fucking system 
to bring him into the real world, then you'd have to trap him somehow, yeah. right? So that'd be kind of neat. Um, also, maybe Pinhead from Hellraiser would be... He'd be a tough go, though. Yeah. Like, I you'd think. at least have some experiences that you can... <laughs> talk about after if you make it if you're not all skinned alive and shit you're all torn up <laughs> that that is a good fight yeah. you're all ripped to shreds so that's the end of our season finale 2022 q a thank you for submitting your questions and thank you for making them different than usual you know <laughs> yeah we didn't want to answer the same shit over and over again and this is different it was new questions and yeah Got to expand, you know, gonna use the brain a bit, you know. It was yeah. kind of hard thinking, like, oh yeah, best movie. We, oh yeah, man, like, there's a few, there's a few stoppers in there, yeah. yeah. Especially when you think about, when you have to think about our a lot of our reviews and everything. It's like, oh, we've done like 200 reviews. It's like over 200. <laughs> oh, it's, it's approaching 300 actually. <laughs> I think. Yeah, so like that's a lot to think about. Thank you for watching and for commenting and subscribing. And uh, we'll see you in 2023. Yeah. So until next time, keep drinking. <laughs>